Welcome to Makat TV. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and like. Let's get right into it. Today, our topic is let's go back to our tradition. Let's go back to our roots. That's the topic for today. But later on, I'm going to get into uh, a kind language because this video is purposely meant and prescribed for our country, Ghana. Let's get right into it. Constitution, the definition. A body of fundamental principles or established precedents according to which a state or other organization is acknowledged to be governed. Okay, so the composition of something. Let's get right into it. 1A, the basic principles and laws of a nation, state, or social group that determines the powers and duties of the government and guarantee certain rights to the people in it. A written instrument embodying the rules of a political or social organization. So that is constitution. That's a definition of constitution. So we're going to be hitting on something right away. Today, this topic is, let's go back to our roots. The tradition goes on. Let's go back to our tradition. So the prescription for today, the opinion of me personally and Mecca TV is going to talk about the opinion of myself to the specifics of the ruling governance of Ghana. So I'll read a small um, piece that I wrote myself. And then after that, I will turn, convert it into our Khan language and then talk a little bit about it. And then that's, that'll be the end of the video. So let's go into it. The opinion and solution for Ghana is one, number one. Let's take the Rwandan, um, Rwandan model as the um, Paul Kagame is ruling the country. Let's take that. That's number one. Number two, let's amend the 1992 constitution to streamline our criminal justice system and the unnecessary executive power of the president to elect the Supreme Justices and to pass anti-corruption bill, which will crush all immunity of all, including the president, when any financial misappropriation is present. Number three, going back to our roots in the traditional way, so all members of parliament, including the president, swears in front of our shrines for embezzlement and fake promises so the gods will handle business. Somebody will say, is this guy mad? But let me tell you something. I think the only solution for our country is the traditional way. That is the only solution for now. But I'm going to read again of what I just read. One, number one solution, the Rwandan way, Paul Gagami um, governance, you know, style of governance, you know, the model of governance. Number two, amendment of the 1992 constitution to streamline our criminal justice system and the unnecessary executive power of the president to elect the Supreme Justices and to pass anti-corruption bill, which will crush all immunity of all, including the president, when financial misappropriation is present. Going back to our roots, that's number three, going back to our roots, the traditional way, so all members of the parliament, including the president, swears in front of our shrines for embezzlement and fake promises so the gods will handle business. And I'll say it again. Somebody will say, are, you, are, are this guy mad? Because there's democracy. Let me tell you one thing. The democracy in Ghana or the democracy in Africa is not working because democracy is not for us. Democracy is not for us because we have seen and testified and we've got the evidence that it's not working. So the only way is tradition, the traditional way. And somebody will say, why the traditional way? We have to seal our democracy with the traditional way. Because even when we amend the constitution, there is no rule of law that will stop people from bribery. There is no rule of law that will stop people from bribery. So it means that even 
the, 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 the justice or the, the, the criminal justice system and the chief justice or the judges can even go behind closed doors and get something to overturn things and to delay stuff. People are just not right when it comes to bribery and corruption. So it's just, it's not going to work. So the higher level governance from the president down to the bottom should go behind our shrines and, sh and, 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 and swear. I solemnly swear that when I come to office, I'm going to do this and do that and do that. And thereby, if there's any misappropriation of fine or embezzlement, if I take any city of the, the people or the taxpayer, the gods should strike me. That's the only way out. And then we elect proper fetish priests. That we, we, we have a council that will oversee to all that traditional processes. And in that way, I think everything, because if you go and do the negative and it strikes you and you have a swollen belly and you come to the shrine, before they overturn it, the God strike you dead. So it's going to serve as a deterrent for other public servants to make sure they don't handle businesses the wrong way. You understand what I'm saying? So we seal our democracy with a tradition. We seal it. With a tradition and therefore it's going to be sealed for proper structures economic structures to be in place that is the only way out and as i've read if we use the rwandan model to build our economy and to build the infrastructures to build schools to build our amenities to create jobs and all that and secondly we amend the constitution there's no term rule of law that is going to be clean if we even do that anti-corruption rule without sealing it with our tradition if we don't seal it without our tradition for everyone to swear we're not going to use that bible again to swear because it doesn't work they come and they lie to us and everything go pear shapes we don't we don't we don't um a, 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 a sort of receive any benefits our economy is broken everything is not going on properly as it's supposed to be so my opinion is that let's seal our democracy with our tradition. We elect a member, a board of, you know, fetish priests, and then, you know, a council of, of, of um, high priests, fetish priests, and then we, we organize shrines. Every election time when the president is, is elected, they go there with all the parliamentary members and they go and swear. They don't hold the Bible. They will swear to the gods. So if anything happens, if any misappropriation of funds or any embezzlement happens, the gods strike you. That's it. If they strike you, it's going to serve as a deterrent for those, um, your subordinates. So that corruption is going to go away. And our country is going to grow and our country is going to develop and as country we, we can build our country with no problems into the american and then they say i'm going to put this down the american and then say me the baby brim it's a democracy now you know say you know fat you be brim and then your man right near your money and so a toy now you're the bruni in the bible near this swear or court to know near the idea i did swim crow for him Say ye di ye di ye di shankro fo e e e juma yodi ya eni e nete se ye kuro no e be di jasa because even when we say ye se sa mra mra she be juano kura no mra she no ye se sha mra no ye se sa mra no kura se den kura na bribery and corruption kata se she no pro ye no e be e be still e be ye juma ne mum no se ye mpe nyufu ako ya konfo enim Nia kujina ya busu enim ashe bose se me fesika ana se me yebi bia enye etia me man gana abusu no strike ni ana abusu no enye mi seja I think that our country will start growing and then things will start because you can't get a loan you can't go and get something maybe uh, let's say the, the covid um fund you know no accountability you know when when you say things that are not there or no evidence people will take your word for something else and all that 
oko kan bi no anka ni ya na ye ye de wano akosi bone na me de america ne se ye mra ye 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 governance no ye 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 mra no aye di so no ye se samu se den kura na ye mfa ya mane ne ya mamre entatwo obi bia na o ba ba nu bia o pese o be ya ban ya dwuma bia no onko ye 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 nyi wo mo a wo mo da eh akonfo a wo mo o hie a ye be swe ye be ye be dey ye be swe on that shrines we will swear in that shrines and then we take it from there if we start building our country in with that sort of tradition as a basis or foundation i'm telling you ghana is going to pick up its best clothes to wear you be fire to my pair my literally translated it you be fire to my pair so that is what i'm talking about one the rwandan model two amendment of the constitution and then passing an anti-corruption bill and then stripping all the immunity away from you know the president and the top shots and the top uh, politicians and the ministers and all that and then thirdly we grace it with our tradition you swear before the gods and therefore if there's any negative thing if there's any thing that you're doing that is not right the, the gods is going to strike you let's go back to our tradition and leave the bible somewhere i'm not saying the bible is no good it was brought to us but they have to they don't they don't even use it they use it in their course but they are, look at what is happening let's use our tradition let's attend and 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 and, and, and respect our rivers respect our vegetation respect our trees respect our nature and let's go back to our roots our great 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 founder, uh, forefathers were using our traditional way of life traditional way of worship and everything was on course until the bible was dropped and it became an economic business for some others so please that is my opinion let's spread the word let's spread this word let's go back i know somebody who might watch this video and say ah what the is this guy talking about is he crazy or something but you think about it nothing works nothing works with this democ democracy in ghana nothing works even if you change the constitution there's going to be bribery and corruption somewhere along the line people will pay their way through but if we seal it with the traditions of our land there you will see changes transformation development growth that will, 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 will arise that will come into our country ghana think about this think about this because somebody might watch this video as i said earlier on that oh is this guy crazy or something like that how can we swear before the shrines let's go back to our roots let's let's get our tradition ball rolling that is where we belong and let's see if ghana wouldn't change and development wouldn't be a yastic for the whole world to know that yes this is a country that is developing. This is a country that is ready to move with the with the uh, um, developed countries. I rest my case. Think about this. That is the only way out. Otherwise, we are joking because nothing is going to work, even if we change the, the constitution. Because people will find ways and means to go behind closed doors and do stuff. Let's first of all, first of all break that immunity. For, from the top to the, to, the, to the bottom, from the presidency to, the, to down to the ministers and the MPs and all that. Let's break that immunity. If they audit your office and something is not right, you'll be accounted for. And the chief justice himself has sworn to the chief priest, to the um, shrine, to the gods. So he is not going to put his life on the line for somebody to come through and just bribe his way through he's not going to do that because he knows the gods will strike him dead if he dares follow that rule he's not going to do that so everybody from the top to the bottom there's no immunity nothing covers you everybody's working for the people everybody's working for the population everybody's working for the citizens of ghana and in that way everybody knows that their position that you know what if i do anything silly the gods are going to strike me let's go back to our roots brothers and sisters Spread the word. Make sure 
you forward this video to somebody. Let us think about this thing. Let's see you our democracy with tradition and let's see the changes and transformation that will come to our country, Ghana. I rest my case.